couldn't uh, turn his water off. Got easy, easy buckets, straight line drives, open jump shots, beating guys off the dribble. And, and then we couldn't make a shot. I don't think I've ever been in a game where you, throughout, the, throughout the game, the free throw line and the three point line almost matched. Uh, not, almost ended up at five for 19, six for 19. Couldn't make any shots, couldn't get any confidence on, on the offensive end. And then they, they got hot. Seems like any time we made a, a decent play, got a deflection, they ended up with it with a three. Valentin came in and made a couple of big threes. And we missed a lot of layups as well. We missed a lot of layups. So, I mean, we got, we got to be better than we, than we played tonight. How do you explain the free throws in particular um, being being so low? It, it's um, technically the one of the worst uh, free throw percentages you guys have ever had in, in franchise history. Yeah, I mean, there's you got to step up and make them. You know everybody. I mean, Russell's missed five, Denny missed three, and a couple of other guys missed a couple. Uh, those that's you don't make those. Those are those are rough. You know. Russell's been making them lately. He's going to have to go back to the drawing board and make some of those. But we got to get stops. You know, when we don't have when we don't have a lot of firepower, if we don't get stops on the defensive end, it's tough. And I thought I thought this was one of the first time I've seen Russell. He's I mean, he's been carrying us with all the offensive guys out and trying to manufacture everything. He, he looked a little looked a little winded at times. I probably played him. A, too many minutes the last couple of nights, but we had to do that um, out of necessity with all the guys out. With the other guys, nobody's nobody's. I don't think anybody stepped up and, and played played good tonight. And when you, when you don't when you don't do that, it, it puts a lot of puts a lot of stress into every possession down the court. Fred, hey Scott. Um, I, I know you have you had a lot of guys out tonight and Brad was out tonight. So I'm really asking more generally than opposed to tonight. But you guys are bottom 10 in the league in points per possession. And one of the expectations of the team was that you were going to have a high powered offense coming into the year. Are are you surprised by where you guys are at in terms of offensive efficiency at this point in the season? Um, no, not really. Not with all the things that <laughs> taken place. You know, the, the... Thomas Bryan, I mean, it, it's probably not the right time to talk about all the things that's happened, but we get our guys back, we're a different team. You know, we got, we got, we got a lot of, we got some firepower on the bench uh, in street clothes tonight. And if you, if that's, if you're going to be a fair assessment, a lot of guys are, had to step up and play roles that they're not, they're not ready for, or they're not, that's not their game. Uh, but getting everybody back. I know this team can shoot better than it, than it has. I know we're a better an offensive team than we, than we are tonight. Uh, we got to play better. We got to hopefully we get it, uh, somebody, one or two guys back or they're getting close, but don't know when that's going to happen, but that definitely will help the offense. But until then we got to, we got to, we got to make sure that we we can defend better and, and score in the paint. That's what that's the one thing that we've been doing this last you know week or so. Is we're not making threes, but we're getting into the paint and scoring around the rim. Zach, coach, I know Brad it was a game time decision again, and you've got Davis and Ish working out. Um, uh, with some of the guys who haven't been playing as much, like how close is everyone to coming back and getting the band back together as much as you can? Yeah, I mean they're definitely getting much closer. I mean every every day is a, is another day closer. You know, I, I think you know we might be able to see. You know, but like I said, Brad was a game time decision in the last couple of three games or so, uh, or two games. Um, yeah, I mean that's obviously. Ish has been out for a while, so it's going to take him a while to try to simulate as much as we can with coaches, but coaches can't play. Um, not a lot of practice time, so we're doing the best we can with it, but it obviously will help us 
to get his uh, injection of his speed and his change of pace and DBs. You know, I feel like he's going to come back and 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 play much better than he has in the first part of the season. Christos, you know, coach, hope you are doing well. What is the the main issue, the main problem that you would like to resolve on the court as a team, and how much need is Bradley Beal's present to change the the pace, change the way that you play? Well, I mean, it's guys. I'm not. I mean, I know you guys are asking me all basically the same questions. I'm looking. You guys are putting me in a spot that I'm looking like I'm making excuses. I'm not. Facts are the guys are the guys are out, but we have to step up and play better. These are opportunities for guys to get minutes, guys that haven't played minutes, guys that have been begging for minutes. These are opportunities. Um, some have taken advantage of it. Some hasn't played as well as I would have thought or would have hoped for, and they would have hoped for. Um, but bottom line is we we gave up too many points to start the to start the quarter, and then we gave up too many points in the second quarter. I thought actually in the second half, it was pretty even. I know they scored a, a bunch in the last couple of minutes, but it, I thought it was pretty even. But when you're down 20, it's hard to come back. Quentin. Hey, Coach, how much do you have to alter the, I guess, offensive and defensive game plan where you have so many guys out in a game? I mean, it's... Everything is changing on the fly. You got, you know, guys out, no practice times and games are coming back. We are back to back, you know, three and four nights. But that's, you know, that's, that's what the NBA is right now. A lot of games, a lot of teams and nobody's practicing. Nobody's having shoot around. And we have a lot of guys that shoot arounds and practices would definitely help. Um, but we don't have that. So you got you to gotta change on the fly and sometimes it's hard. It's not, uh, it's not really, it's not fair to point the fingers to anybody. It's not hard. I mean, it's hard to, to, to teach on the fly. We're doing the best we can, you know, but you know, when you have guys out, we didn't, we didn't make shots tonight, but we didn't, we didn't make them miss enough shots. I thought Jackson, like I said, he was straight line drives. He was, it was, it was shoot around shots. And you give a, a hungry player like that, this guy was a high level draft pick. And that's a great pickup for them. He's hungry. He knows that he belongs in this league, 13 for 21. He, he showed us that, you know, why he was drafted so high. Hey, Robin. Um, happy birthday. Um, Scott mentioned something that you guys had been able to, to do well this week, especially with all the guys who were out was uh, getting into the paint, obviously make your free throws. What did you feel like was the problem with that stuff tonight? Um, problem tonight, we, we, they just didn't feel us. Um, I think they got they got their confidence going early on. We all agreed about that. And when they get rolling, when teams get rolling like that, they're going to hit they're going to hit those difficult shots with hands in their faces. When you guys do have this many guys out and you're kind of playing heavy minutes, how do you keep the focus right? How do you keep your mentality up in the locker room? Um, we have to have energy springing from everybody. It has to be contagious. Um, and I think for us, it's important to remember we're not going to win if we, if we don't focus on defense. Chase. Um, hey, Robin, happy birthday. Um, what has to happen for you guys to generate offense right now when you are missing not only the amount of players that you're missing, but um, the fact that those guys are so good at scoring, guys like Brad and Davis Bertans? In the half court, we have to move the ball and trust each other, um, take our shot when it's available, when it's open. I think a big key for us, and it's coming back to the defensive end, it's getting stops and running, especially with guys like Russ in transition. He's looking for everybody. Alex is a, uh, Alex is an athletic big. He'll get out and run. Rhea will get out and run. Gaff will get out and run. Um, so that's something we have to take advantage by getting stops. And what's it like after a loss where you, you can look at the free throw shooting category and, and realize that, you know, maybe there were some points you guys could have had if you just shot um, your normal percentages? Yeah, I mean, it's that, that's something. I think I think as a team, we're aware where our deficiencies are. So that, that's something, but I think we're, we're aware where we need to be focusing. Fred? 
Hey, Robin, uh, you mentioned trust each other. Can, can you expand just a little bit on, on what that means? How does that show, how does lack of trust show on the court? How, how would act more trust show on the court? To me, when, when guys trust each other, they play freely. They don't, hesi they don't hesitate. Um, as, as a big man, an example is in pick and roll coverage. Um, if I feel I have to step up and step up on a three-point shooting guard, I know there's going to be somebody behind me to take my man, box out my man. I don't. I have no doubt about that. Um, on offense, it's swinging the ball, giving it up, knowing it's going to come back to you at some point. Quentin. Hey, Robin, you said you guys need to start getting more stops and getting out and running. That's something that we've heard from you all all season long. So what is it that's going wrong to where you guys haven't been able to get stops? And if it's been discussed, I mean, I'm assuming it's been discussed inside of you guys' locker room and through uh, practice sessions. What would you assess as the main reason why you guys can't get any stops on defense? The consensus seems to be that it's, it's a lack of focus, um, a, a lack of locking in. We, we know we, we can do it. We, have, we know we have the tools to do it. It just hasn't been happening consistently. And it's, it's something we need to keep harping on until that's something that we do every night, every quarter. Thank you, Robin. Christos. Happy birthday, first of all. I would like to ask you, what this team needs to improve on the court, to, to be more consistent, especially in defensive end? Uh, like I said, I, we, we need to lock in. Um, we need to know what our job is on the defensive end individually. Um, we need to know other, the, other, the opposing team's tendencies, what they're going to do when they catch the ball, where they like to get the ball, where they like to shoot. Hey, Russ, just uh, what do you think allowed them to uh, take advantage and go up uh, pretty big there in the first half? Um, it's our intensity defensively. We had no resistance. Uh, you know, just one of those nights. And how frustrating is it to, uh, you know, look back at the free throw line as a, a, a reason why you guys were out of it um, going um, six of 19 tonight as a team? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of things went wrong. We can point out a lot of things. I think a lot of it starts with myself. Um, it's a shitty job overall, not taking care of the ball, you know, not being the, the best leader I could be. So uh, this one's on, on my hands and on my shoulders, and um, I got to do a better job of leading this into nights like this, regardless of who's playing. Um, I'm responsible, uh, you know, for our energy, our effort, and, uh, you know, I take the blame on this one. Fred? Hey, Russ. Uh, you guys have turned out good defensive performance in games throughout the year. What What is it that doesn't allow you to keep that consistent from game to game? I mean, if I had to answer, I would, we would have figured it out by now. I don't know. Um, we can go game by game, um, and there's probably something different each time based on matchups, but, uh, you know, it just really depends. Quentin. Hey, Russ, Robin Lopez talked about, in terms of defense, you guys have a lack of focus and trust. Um, what would you describe the issue for you guys on defense, and would you categorize it as that as well? Um, like I just said, man, it, it really depends on the game and who's and what. Um, but tonight, like I said, it's on me um, on both sides of the ball. And then after that, we're going to move on to the next game. 